Good afternoon, everyone. This is Christy with Van On Company. It's Tuesday, February 5th. I'm going to go over the markets. Quiet trade once again, really quiet trade as these markets kind of seem to be lulling themselves to sleep, being very quiet coming into the end of the week where we have a whole lot of information coming our way. It seemed like a buy the rumor, sell the fact type of a day in the soybean market. We saw a flash of a very large export sale, private sale to China, 2.6 million metric ton coming after yesterday's over 700,000. There was also a small one in there to an unknown destination that is typically China as well and so uh, you see them you know committing to these sales like they said they would and that should be friendly to this market but you came in here and once you got that the, the soybean market actually started to break down after being about a half a cent higher down five at one point spent majority of the day slightly in the red able to come back the last half an hour of the day closing just over a penny higher but very quiet trade as we're waiting to see what the end of the week is going to tell us also so see what we can get out of Thursday's export sales. Even though they're delayed, we do need to know, was China in here buying grain over this holiday break or not? Uh, over into the corn market, very quiet trade as well. We are back above the 380 level when you look at March futures. That's nice to see. So we're up about a penny and a half today. And then across the board in the wheat complex, a little bit interesting, um, both or all three of them, Chicago, Kansas City, and Minneapolis wheat, their front contract found some slight support where their deferred contract started to slip. So I don't know if that's a kind of a, a telltale of what they're thinking might come out of Friday's crop report. Like I said, that's a lot of details we are going to get on Friday. It's quarterly grain stocks, it's finalized production levels, it's updated demand structure, and it's also winter wheat seeding. So there's a lot of information coming out there and usually a pretty big report when you look at the wheat complex. Meat markets, you're seeing live cattle try to inch back towards those contract highs that they saw here three weeks or so. Um, we need to see where cash trade comes in after this little bit of a cold snap. Feeder cattle just a little bit lower on the day. And then lean hogs gave back about half of yesterday's um, positivity that we saw. Outside markets relatively quiet with the Dow finding some support as there is some optimism coming out of trade talk. And we'll have to see what comes out State of the Union here tonight. That usually gets some things moving as well. I do have to close with the disclaimer. Trading futures and options involves risk loss and is not suitable for all producers. Have a great day.